beautiful ATA bays. Welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be doing our new perfume tray for this week. This perfume tray is from last week. I just wanted to do a quick recap. As you guys can see, if you watch my layering videos, I was able to use all of the perfumes on this tray. I was definitely able to find a good combo with bright peach. And this perfume, as I was mentioning, has that bitter note that I don't really care for at the end, although I do love the peach. And I used the combo with gingham for the summer because it's been hot here. We've had hot days and I um, used that combo and also told you guys that if you have issues with this, layer that gingham with it for that summer, more summer scent. But you can also layer fairy tale or chasing fireflies to bright peach, and it will definitely help that bitter note. Okay, so just gave you those layering combos for bright peach. Um, I was able to use all of my perfumes. Love the combos. This is a new one for me, and I have not got a grasp on this one yet. I haven't found a combo that I am really loving, but the longer this perfume sits, the more I love it. It was really, really cheap. Okay, it's called Ostaf, and it's super sweet. Um, I just gotta really find a good layer for it, so I did not use this perfume. Um, here, uh, let's see here, I used all of these. I did not use Casablanca last week because it was really warm like I said but it's cold right now so but I think the days are going to be warmer I don't know I'm not going to say I'm not going to wear this one in the summer but for me um I prefer to wear this one in winter or cooler days so that's it for last week's perfume tray so the only perfume that I'm bringing back to the tray this week is going to be my indulgent moments cashmere vanilla the reason I'm bringing this back is I do have a theme for this tray. It is pretty much everything crystal clear and white. So I really wanted to bring this one back. And I'm still trying to get a grasp on this one. I love it. It's um, super smooth. It's very creamy, like tonic-like, very smooth. But it also has those woody notes in there. And I still was having trouble layering it the way I wanted to. So I actually pulled up the notes. And there is more than two notes in this perfume, you guys. So it also has some skin musk, some coconut, um, almond blossom, jasmine. It's a really pretty fragrance. But now that I actually see that there are more than two notes, it's a little bit more complex. And that way, I want to see what I can layer with this perfume, you guys. Um, some of them to me are more simple and they're easier to layer, but I'm having trouble with this one. So I added it to the tray and that's cashmere and vanilla. Next up, I'm going to add Fakar. I love this perfume. I love it, you guys. Like I said, it gives the smell to me of such aromatic, sweet, fresh grapes. Ah beautiful beautiful perfume and it just goes so well on my tray this week and that is the crystal clear and white although I'm going to add a little bit of bronze to it we're adding for car so next up we're adding from the house of Dior and this is Je Adore this perfume is so pretty but there is something in there that makes me shy away from wearing it it's a beautiful beautiful fragrance but there's something in here especially on my skin that i particularly don't care for i plan on using this bottle up by the end of this year so i'm going to be layering her doing more combos finding um ways that i can just take out what i don't like and add more what i love from this perfume it's a fresh floral fresh floral perfume and it has a lot of jasmine lily of the valley Valley, tuberose all things that I love okay but then it has notes of melon and pear mandarin orange love all of that so why is it I don't love this perfume I don't know but we're going to go ahead and add her to the tray and we're going to see what combos we can come up with next up we're going to go ahead and add Burberry her EDT 
I love, love, love this fragrance. You guys see I have a little dent going in there. It is so pretty because it gives me like fresh honeysuckle a bit. Now, when I first sprayed this perfume, it did have a little bit of a sharp note, but it dries down so beautifully. It's really light, floral, feminine, youthful, fresh, so, so pretty. And I know I can layer a lot with this one. It smells super fruity to me and it's just really pretty, but it's also not fruity in a kid-like way. It's in an adult fashion, but this is a beautiful fragrance. It lasts a long time. Perfect for spring. So, yep, we're adding her to the tray. Keeping with the theme, we're going to go ahead and add Coed Alpherson. Y'all know how much I love this perfume. It has some coconut, citrus, pineapple, alang alang, jasmine, vanilla, sandalwood. So, so pretty. I am in love with this perfume. We can do no wrong. Girl, we're going to have some beautiful spring layering combos coming up. So, yeah, go ahead and get ready. But love, love, love that. That's the next one on the tray. Then we're going to go ahead and add Marc Jacobs Perfect. This one is new to me too as well, but so spring-like, okay? I usually layer with Poppy. I want to try to do something different. I'm going to try to layer something different with it to just give me that extra, mm, you know what I'm saying? So we're going to step out of the box a little bit and I'm going to work on layering Perfect as well. Next, I wanted to add Dulce by Rosie Jane. This is another vanilla perfume that I really do love, you guys. But I have not been wearing it enough. I wanted to get more acquainted with this perfume. And it's very vanilla-like, powdery, musky, woody, warm and spicy, sweet, sweet vanilla. And the notes in it, I believe, is vanilla as well as some cacao or um, chocolate. And it's just, it's kind of simple, but then at the same time, it lasts so long. And I get so many compliments whenever I wear this perfume. Yeah, it just has some chocolate, vanilla, musk, and hanoki wood. So it's that wood with the vanilla and the chocolate as well. So we're definitely going to add her to the tray and keep it with the theme, girl. Next up is my Fruity Almond, and this is a dupe of Carolina Herrera's Good Girl. And you guys know it has all of the notes on there. It has some almond, peach, um, some orris, orange blossom, tuberose, tonka bean, vanilla, and cacao. I don't wear this one very much. I have a couple of dupes for that perfume, although I don't have the original. But I just wanted to try to see if I can understand why everybody else is so in love with this perfume, okay? Because I've tested it so many times, and it's just eh to me, okay? I don't know why. I'm, I don't know. My nose is just like love sweets. So I, maybe it's not mature enough yet. I don't know. But I do like some mature fragrances. It's, it's crazy. I do like some complex fragrances that, um, you know, are not sweet. So I don't know. But we're going to test it out. I'm going to try to use it a little bit more and see what we can come up with. Next up on the tray, we're going to be using Mont Blanc Signature. Girl, this is one of my favorites of all time. So simple. Vanilla, clementine, fresh, floral, sweet perfume. Love, love, love to layer Mont Blanc Signature. I mean, I wanted to try the new one that they have also, but... I've just never got back around to really testing it, looking into it to see if I wanted to purchase it. But my Blanc Signature can do no wrong in my book. I'm going to go ahead and add her to the tray for this springtime, you know, tray for combos this week. Yep. So, you guys, last but not least, we're looking at Jo Malone. Can you see that? Yep. And this one is Peony Blush and Suede. I love this perfume. I'm going to be trying to see what I can layer with it as well. Just to uh, see what combos I can put together that will really bring out this fragrance. Love, love, love this oil. And that's exactly what it is. It's Santal and Cardamom. I have a couple of perfumes with Santal in them. I will be using this to layer as well. So we'll see what we can come up with with this perfume oil. 
So this is my clear and white summer spring perfume tray that I'm going to be making some combos for this week. So you guys stay tuned. I hope you enjoyed the video. Leave me a clear heart, girl. Let me know you made it to the end of this video, and I'll catch you in the next one.